Good day and welcome to Zuviate Business Agility Day, where we help leaders reimagine how work can flow. In the previous three videos in this mini series, we did focus on our process by mainly using historic data of tasks that were already completed. But it is also necessary to look at the actual work that currently is in progress to identify trends or even if need be to drill down to specific tasks. Let me once more switch to Canbanize to show you an example. So as I said, today we want to really look at work in progress. And I want to start with the run chart, which is very much the same as a throughput run chart. It has got the date and it has got the work in progress that was there at that specific date. And this work in progress run chart actually shows us the little sliver of work in progress on top of a CFD, but mapped out as a scatter plot. So with this, we can clearly see trends. And at the moment, I, for example, put a trend line with an interval of 21 days. So in the last year, we were sitting at around 15 tickets at any stage. Then came Christmas. There it went up again. And then we actually stayed quite low, but suddenly what's happening here? If we are looking at this, at the end of May, we suddenly have a work in progress of over 60 items. So let's now look at the aging work in progress chart as of that date where we had 63 items in work in progress. As we can clearly see, most of the work is actually sitting in the first third of the process and a lot of it is already sitting above the 85th percentile when we would have expected it to already be finished. Now let's dig a bit deeper. The first thing we can do is look at the dot colors. For example, in this case, I can set them by lane name and now suddenly we see that we've got one certain type that is dominating here. Another thing, as I said, I already switched on the done percentiles, but there's an interesting one we could actually put on the pace percentiles, which means that in your historic data, this is where the 85th percentile sat in each of the columns. And now we can clearly see that there is something happening here where, because a lot of them are above the 85th and even the 95th percentile, which means we are bringing these percentiles up day by day as well. Another really great tool that I like is the stalled item alert, which shows you blinking all the items that have not moved in a certain number of time. In this case, seven days. If I put that to 14 days, I will see there are still a few left. So there we can delve deeper as well. And as with anything, we can always click through and get to the specific items. But here we are looking at a bigger phenomenon. So it wouldn't really help to look at each item individually. And if we really wanted, we could also do an aging replay where we say, okay, how did our work in progress look over time? Or even how did our percentiles look over time? As you can see, this is a hugely powerful tool. So the actionable tip for today is, Kanban metrics do not only look at historic data, but you can also analyze and manage current work in progress. 